Hi, I'm Myra Sutton. I'm Katitza Rodriguez. Um, we are with the Electronic Frontier Foundation and we're here in Lima, Peru for the 17th round of the Trans-Pacific Partnership negotiations, which are happening right there in that hotel, the JW Marriott, on the beach of Miraflores, Lima. And we're here because uh, we've been following the TPP for a couple years now. and. Um, we know what's in this agreement because of a leak from February 2011 and based upon that leak we know that it has provisions that enforce DRM, uh, digital locks and uh, criminalization of distributing anti-circumvention measures, um, it carries more liabilities for online service providers and internet service providers, um, it expands copyright terms globally by another 20 years and it has even an expansive definition of what a copy is to include temporary copies and if that's actually enforced it would literally break the internet and break everything that we do um, every day on our own you know personal devices and our laptops and so it's the biggest and maybe the they're trying to make it the final global trade agreement we are here at the Marriott um, it's just funny because I think that the, this trade agreement is trying to uh, make a global norm of IP enforcement they are trying to just make the worst part of the digital millennium copyright act as a global treaty through the APEC region or through the APEC countries, once uh, the APEC countries or the, the countries that are part of the TPP sign into this agreement, there will be more and more people trying to to join. Um, this is still really dangerous because um, there are many other countries who have developed norms that are much more progressive and more flexible and more innovative than the USDMCA or the copyright law from the United States. Uh, we are really uh, concerned because, you know, we have been doing policy for the last 10-15 um, years in several international um, governmental organizations and in internet policy we have already developed a lot of new way for civil society participation on this uh, on the development of internet policy um, in this in this negotiation they are just having the old style way of doing policy which is make people from civil society on the street without being able to actually have access to the actual test text of the agreement and actually being able to see what each state is saying. The, the internet and the way of doing policy globally has advanced so much in international venues that really TPP is really old-fashioned, it's really outdated, it's really secretive. So I think that needs to change. They are dealing with the internet and they cannot just keep us out. No es nuestra internet. No es nuestra internet. No es nuestra internet. To get more information, please visit nonegociable.p or um, go to eff.org slash issues slash TPP uh, to learn to take action and to learn more about the exact provisions that we're most worried about. Thank you.